portable data. Usually we use such things here, USB sticks. You can see this is a thumb drive with eight gigabytes, a little bit of an older model, as you can see here. But the big disadvantage of such drives is that they are slow. So if I want to cut this video using this thumb drive only as the storage medium, but also as the medium where I cut my video, it will be way too slow. So I had to upgrade. I used the Samsung SSD, external SSD that you can uh, use for um, plugging in to a computer with a USB-C cable and USB-A dongle, or you can plug it directly in via USB-C to your tablet or your smartphone as well, which is pretty handy. But you can see the size different here, difference, and you can get USB sticks with the same capacity as this one here, but this one has a bigger, larger size. Then you can get a little bit more compact ones like the SunDisk uh, SSD, also external, also 500 gigabytes, just like this one. You can see uh, yeah, almost the same size, but a little bit like more compact and uh, easier to carry. But what would be if I could just take this little, almost like uh, RAM sticks that you get on your laptops as memory, just like this one here and put this into an enclosure. I have a wonderful small little enclosure then for this one. Easy to carry, but also usually those internal SSDs are a bit quicker. They use a newer technology and they offer for the bug more capacity. So gladly a company that creates enclosures for such NVMe M2 SSDs exists and they sent me this one here. It's the company Lemorel, I would say. So pronounce it a bit French. And they are creating this enclosure here for NVMe M2 SSDs. So portable enclosure for those ones. And this is what I want to try out right now. Unbox and review. So let's get started. So this is the packaging, Lemorel or Lemorelli. I don't know how they are pronounced. Maybe they can write it down in the comments. Otherwise, the M2 NVMe portable SSD enclosure. And let's take a look around the packaging because some of those companies are very uh, good in creating good packages. And this one I think is also good because it explains very easily how it works. Here you can see you have the instruction on the package itself. So no paper is wasted here. So you can see the enclosure itself. You can see it has probably USB-C. You can open it up. You can put in the SSD, use a screw to screw it on, or two screws actually to screw it on. And you get some more information here about the company itself and the contact in Lithuania and uh, made in China, of course, like almost all electronics is made in China. So let's open this up and let's see so this is the housing and there's some more stuff inside so let's put this away take a look at the more stuff first of all we get two cables so this is a usb a to usb c cable so this is probably what you will use for your computer if you have a usb a um, plug and then we have a usb c to usb c cable that can be used for attaching it to modern laptops that only come with USB-C or smartphones, tablets and so on. So this is pretty cool that we get those two cables here. Um, I don't have anything against one cable and a little adapter like I showed you. Like this one here could be like USB-C cable, USB-C cable and an adapter. Uh, wouldn't, would work for me as well, but more cables? Hooray! I can use it for other stuff as well, which is good. Then uh, we have, of course, the screws. We get two pairs here uh, that allow us to screw in an SSD. And then we have some uh, stickers here, which is interesting. Good vibes, TGF, oops, <laughs> OMG, haha, welcome, nice, and so on. So even more, there's even more stickers on there. Wow, that's a good, nice, interesting idea. And there are even like football stickers in here as well. Hmm, cool, Ajax, BVB, Bayern München, Chelsea, football. 
Great. Um, and I'm your bookmark. So they put even a bookmark in here. If you're reading some books, uh, you have a nice little bookmark here as well. And you don't forget that it's coming from Le Morel or Le Morelet. Uh, this company here. Well, interesting, I would say. So nice gimmicks that they put this in as well. Uh, let's take a look at the enclosure. Let's get rid of this plastic. Looks smallish, more compact maybe than the Sundays that I showed you, but it's a bit longer as you can see, also longer than the Samsung. So it might fit e more easily into your pocket maybe than those who are like a bit bigger. But it's a bit longer because, of course, the SSDs are a bit longer, so they cannot perform magic here. Let's take a look around the device. So we have a lock mechanism here where we can lock it and unlock it. When we unlock it, then we can, you can see already it is going out here, pull this out and get to our compartment where we can put in the M2 S, uh, the NVMe M2 SSD. You can see that this is like metal aluminium i would say this is made of plastic and it's like a little board inside here and you just put it in like this do we put it in like this yeah and you close it and then if you are here you can just close it up here so it will not open up very cool design concept i would say it's better than those flimsy doors that you open up because here you have metal and it is like very um, or aluminium in this case it's very solid built and even if it yeah if you throw it on the ground or something like this it probably will not break anything like this and you don't have some doors flappy doors or something like this that will fall off it's very highly secured then we can see here the usb type c uh, connector so we can just plug in a cable to do the stuff yeah this is basically everything there's a little bit of like an led i think here might be also a reset button i'm not sure i have to open it up to see it's also cool that you can open up and see the board itself it's, isn't it cool how many companies allow you to open up the device and see the board that they're using here and uh, yeah i think this opening is for an uh, led somewhere that is like shining here probably that shows the, the progress or if, if something is working uh, on this or not. So yeah, this is the board. I think the more interesting parts are down here, like the chips and so on. And probably you can like, yeah, unscrew it and put a new board in it or something like this, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, and uh, we have some writing here as well, as you can see. Uh, and you know, it doesn't tell me anything here, I have to say, but yeah, it's cool to see that. And what we want to do now, of course, is get the SSD, NVMe, NVMe SSD, and uh, get it out of the package here. Quickly, this is a Samsung uh, Evo Plus, 970 Evo Plus VNAND SSD. So one terabyte, one very big one, uh, bigger than my 500 gigabytes external SSDs. So the only thing I have to do is just plug it in here. You can see this will align. There's a little uh, hole. There's a little hole here. And this sh should align to this little uh, hole here. And then we just uh, plug it in like so. It fits in nicely. The only thing I have to do is like press it down and then use the screws that I have somewhere put, put in away. There we are. The screws here to screw it really in. And I need a screwdriver for this. I think this is one thing that they could could have included, maybe like even if it's just a plastic one, a little screwdriver. At least you have two of those. Maybe because you can not only get this full-sized uh, NVMe two SDs, SSDs, but also the, like the smaller ones, the half-sized ones, and then you have to attach it to another of those holes. You can see they have various different holes for the various different sizes of M2. M2 SSDs that you can get. So this is pretty good. I have a full one here, so I have to use this one. So I will put this one down here. Oops. Uh, which way does it need to go? Probably not this way, but this way. So hold it here. I think it has to go this way only way it would fit or is it this way around yeah it could be it's the other way around so we have this here 
And this is the time where I can take a look at the instructions on the back that tell me exactly what to do. Yes, the thick one comes on top and the smaller one comes on the bottom. So it makes sense to sometimes take a look at the instructions. So the instructions tell me this one needs to go in like this. And we, gen we then just screw this on with the uh, small one here. So I'll get to this, just slowly getting to it. There we go. There we go. And the only thing I have to do is like hold it now. I don't need a screwdriver. This is the good design here. It's a bit smallish, so you might not see it, but here I have like the possibility to just hold the 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 screw from the bottom and then screw this here on top with your fingers and it should be no issue to screw it on because on the bottom you will see it in a second it has a hexagon i think designed so the screw cannot move yeah screw it really tight it's tight now and here you can see it there's a hexagon uh, at the bottom so if you hold the screw here it will not move around and here you have the possibility to tighten it down maybe i did it a bit a bit not straight so let's do it a bit more straight now still not 100 percent straight but it's holding nicely and the ssd will not fall out so yeah and here it looks nice again so that's basically everything i have to do so put it back into the enclosure hopefully this will fit as well yeah it fits nicely into the enclosure and it closes up here automatically so that's everything i have to do le morel easy very easy just have to follow the instructions on the back and yeah you get like a nice uh, other pair of uh, of screws if you messed up the first one or you need a second pair of screws um, so let's plug it in and try it out and see how the speed is. So this is my computer now and I'm trying out the Lemorel uh, USB enclosure for NVMe M2 portable SSD. I plugged it in already and uh, you can see this of course when you go oops, <laughs> uh, when you go into the terminal. So I'll show you right now that the NVMe is plugged in. You can see here it is detected as SDA device and we can see one terabyte, 932 gigabytes that it has as capacity. So it is in there. If you plug it in the first time, of course, it will be empty. So I recommend you open up your partitioning manager. I'm using Linux here. If you are using Windows, you can also go into your partitioning manager. I already created a partition here on the J Micron tag. This is how it will show up. An X4 one that I called test. And as you can see, I use the full 931 gigabytes. I can open it up here in my file manager under test and I can, there's a lost and found folder, normal. I can create files here if I want to, it might be quite boring, but yeah, it is working nicely. So let's create a test file here, test.txt. And yeah, I can just open it up and uh, write something like this is a little test, save it without any issues and then open up the file as you can see here so basic functionality is there but what we want to see right now and what's i think very interesting is maybe a comparison in terms of speed so how fast can this ssd be so let's perform a little uh, test here i'm just going into the directory of my ssd and i will create a file of one gigabyte size and i will measure how fast how quick this is let me copy the uh, command for this one here because uh, yeah i don't know all the commands mm. and uh, let's paste it in here and let's check how fast it can write one gigabyte per second so uh, this will create a one gigabyte empty file simply and will measure how fast the write speed on the ssd is so let's execute it here and see 
if uh, this works and how fast this SSD is. I have some others to compare with. Here you can see, wow, very, very fast. One gigabyte is basically written in one second. So 1.1 gigabyte per second it can write. So one gigabyte per second written. Uh, how about the, uh, the read speed? And when we take a look at the read speed here, we can see 6.1 gigabyte per second is like instantaneously uh, reading this one gigabyte file without any issues. And what I want to do right now is compare this one with other measurements that I did. First of all, with the Transcend Ultra Speed 8 gigabyte USB thumb drive that yeah, usually is slower, way slower. As you can see here, we have only write speed 107 megabytes per second. This is already fast for a USB thumb drive, I have to say, because usually they're around 30 to 40 megabytes in write speeds only, and the better ones are 60, 80, or just like I have here, 107 megabytes per second, which is already very, very quick for this USB thumb drive. This is why I'm, I like it probably as well. Uh, when it comes to read speeds, I'm not so sure if this is really true. 5.6 gigabytes per second, maybe there's some caching involved here, but it's also very quick in reading. And I know that this USB stick is very quick, but uh, it has no chance of all, uh, of course, against the internal SSD, also an NVMe SSD that you can see here that I have built into my laptop, which is, I'm not sure which is the same brand, I think it's also a Samsung brand, but it has a read and write speed that is uh, a bit slower. So first of all, the write speed 627 megabytes per second, already very impressive, but already faster than the USB stick, but not as fast as the external NVMe enclosure uh, SSD that I have from uh, Lemorel and uh, 5.7 gigabytes per second read speeds. When we take a look at the Samsung T5 external SSD that I showed you at the beginning, uh, a faster SSD already, as you can see here, the speeds for writing are already faster with 843 megabytes per second. And also the read speed with 5.5 uh, gigabytes per second is very, very fast. Uh, so it's a very fast device, I would say, in comparison to the internal one, as you can see here, 627 read speed, uh, write speed and 843 write speed. So the external SSD is faster uh, already than my internal uh, SSD, which is uh, pretty interesting. Also, writes, uh, read speeds are also pretty much on par. Uh, then, of course, I not only have this one here, but I also have tested another one, which is the SunDisk. And the SunDisk is a bit of a slower device. It's a smaller compact device. I think it's called SunDisk Extreme Portable SSD. And here we can see the values of this one. You can see it is also a bit uh, slower in writing, 507 instead of 843 and instead of 600 of my internal one. So it's way slower than those two. But in read speeds, it's pretty fast with 5.8 gigabytes. But now we come to the king. 1.1 gigabytes per second, basically one gigabyte per second, writes with this one gigabyte file, it wrote it in one second on the external SSD with the uh, yeah, enclosure uh, M2 NV NVMe portable SSD enclosure from uh, Lemorel, which is pretty, pretty uh, awesome. And yeah, here you can see the values in, in, in writing and reading. Reading is even faster with 6.1 gigabytes per second. It's blazingly fast and uh, beats all the other devices that are tested here. So really, it's a really good product. So the enclosure itself is not slowing it so much down. It is beating all the others. And yeah, probably I will use this in the future for cutting my videos because it's so damn fast, even faster than my internal SSD of my laptop and yeah, with one terabyte size and even the, the possibility to put in even faster cards in there or better cards in there with more space in the future. The upgradability is really, really awesome. And the only, the sky is the limit, only the USB uh, type C or Thunderbolt um, speed that you have is I think the limit here. And yeah, pretty awesome speed, I would say pretty awesome device and if you want to get this a little uh, enclosure you can and also the SSD maybe you can find links in the description box 
where I will link to the Amazon product and uh, you have the possibility to buy that then and it might be very useful for you to just like it is very useful for me here. So the uh, Lemorel uh, M2 NVMe portable SSD enclosure is a definitely a recommendation from me if you are searching for a very fast external USB controllable um, yeah, enclosure for NVMe SSDs and a good alternative for those external SSDs that you can buy right now.